morning. This is uh, the um, another shooting video. Hopefully, I can uh, let you in on a, a little bit more of the estate and uh, show you the place. This is this is a lovely view. You, you start first thing in the morning. You come in the corner. There's the big house. There's the lake in the distance, and uh, it's obviously got some visitors. Um, but just the estate is looking lovely at the moment. Your birds flying around, like geese or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, so this is how it starts, and um, I'll move in. Speak to you later. Reet, just to let everybody feel like they're at home still, I'm uh, putting on a right daft accent, like you know, <laughs> pretending I'm quickie, like. But uh, I had no like. <laughs> I've come out this morning. <laughs> well, it is an holiday, so it's uh, make us all feel slightly better. Um, I've come down to a place where uh, myself and Ian was at last week. Um, pulled up, and all the crows flew off instantly, and there was bloody loads of them. Um, and there's a little back bit which I come round. As soon as I came round, um, where are we? Can we see him? No, I don't suppose we can. There he is. Uh, hopefully, yes. Um, God, I can't see a bloody thing. There's a... Uh, I've got a squirrel straight away. Um, there's the, the trusty wolf. Laying resplendent across the uh, landy bonnet. Um, I think this is a good sign. I've only just turned up. I've seen three squirrels straight away. Got a bead on one, and the bastard jumped just as I took the shot, and then I got the second one. Um, quite a nice shot, actually. I was well, well, well pleased with it. I'm going to hang around here for a little while because there's a lot of activity. All, all the crows are starting to come back; they're all drifting out. I can see them now. Um, I'm going to tuck myself away, and uh, which is not easy for me. And uh, and we'll take it from there. I'll speak to you later. I'm uh, back in the little pine wood. And uh, there's a fair bit flying over, and uh, I just managed to successfully scare off about 50 pigeons with a bad shot, which was really stupid. Um, I just can't believe there's so much evidence of movement and things living around here without being able to see it. Um, I'm going to hang around here for a while, settle down and then see what I can see. Um, there's got to be something around here during daylight. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Right, well that's interesting. I've just found uh, a couple of nice little areas. Um, and it's a place where it's a bit boggy, but there's a couple of bits of high ground which I could uh, um, either come back tonight or um, park up and just give it a little bit of a wait. There's loads of crows about, but they, of course they're just too smart for a fat old git like me. Um, but, um, so, yeah, I'm going to reverse back up and have a look at these scrapes. I mean, there's about a dozen really fresh scrapes. Um, and I'm thinking, well, give it a bit of a, you know, maybe an hour or two. And uh, see what appears. So, um, I'll let you know. Speak to you later. There's um, some nice land around here actually. Um, moving around over there, when you get to the a view of the top 500 I've looked at before. Um, can't wait to get back up there. It's a nice bit of shooting. There's plenty of stuff about. But um, they're obviously very wary. There goes another one. There we go. But um, I'm quite encouraged by these scrapes I've seen. Very fresh. It's the first evidence uh, of, well, fresh, fresh evidence. Um, I've seen a rabbit in absolutely ages. So that's. Uh, it's never a bad thing. 
Anyway, I'll speak to you later. Well, I'm at uh, another bit of the estate now. Got a bit higher up. Basically looking back on uh, where I was. Uh, there's the old jalopy, as far as I can see. Is that the one? Yeah, there he is. That's, uh, um, this is an, a, a very narrow wood which runs along the side of the road. It's about 60, 80 yards in from the road, so it's not such a bad thing to hunt in. Um, so back over there is obviously the farm where I was with uh, Ian last week. And, uh, and there's the wood that we were in, which is a, a nice little place. Um, I'm going to go down here and hide. Um, there's a couple of big city trees, as you can probably see. Um, and there's a bit of scrubland right by the side of it. I'm going to stick myself in, in there and... Uh, and see what I can find. I've just bumped into a, 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 a guy I met last year, um, shoots an Air Ranger and uh, 177, and uh, nice guy, uh, does a lot of falconry and stuff like that. Uh, I'll try and bump into him again a bit later on in the year actually, or my, no, next year, because uh, he said to me that he would uh, show me a bit of falconry, and uh, and I fancy a bit, of, a bit of that, it could be good. There's a bird popping over, come on you bugger. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself down there and see what I can do. Speak to you later. I'm in another little wooded area. Um, it's a tiny little copse really. But um, I just saw three pigeon flying and uh, stayed dead still for about 10 minutes. And uh, only until my back started to give out that I made a move. Couldn't see the bloody things until, um, as I said, I moved, and Christ, must have been 30 flew out the tree. It's got no bloody leaves on it whatsoever, and yet there was 30 in it, and I couldn't see them. There you go. The joys of hunting. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Right, well, I'm back where I started. Uh, first thing in the morning, I've got me um, two pigeons, a rabbit, and a squirrel. So I think that's a fairly successful morning. I'm very pleased with that. Um, there's still odds and sods about, but I've got to do a bit of taxi time later, so as you all know. Um, no, so I'm fairly chuffed. I've had a good morning. Bumped into a, an old mate, and uh, he was off ferreting. Thank God he was nowhere near me. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll uh, just sign off. Um, it has been a good day. I've enjoyed it. And uh, it's always good to have company, though. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll be knocking on uh, Ian's door soon. <laughs> OK, speak to you later.